Indescribable. Um, the best feeling is not me being happy, it's watching how happy these guys are. You know, just they just made history. This is the first ever track and field trophy championship for, for Texas. So I'm just so happy for them. You know, with the effort they put, all the sacrifices they made to win the national championship. Were you thinking that this was a national championship caliber team back in January, December? Since August, we've been talking about it. We thought, I thought we had the team. We lost some players along the way, with injuries and such. Um, the guys still came through. So ideally, we've been talking about since August that, that we got the league game with two trophies. And we want to win a national We're the first team that win a national championship. So that's been our goal year round. We've been talking about it back and forth nonstop. What was your anxiety or confidence level like going into that 4 by 4 knowing to secure you had to beat A&T, who had Randall Frost I thought game. I might have passed out and somebody revived me over there. I, I don't, there was about 20 minutes where I lost sight of what the heck was going on and until the gun went off and the guys came through. Is there any specific event that you thought was like the key that kind of really tipped the scale for you guys to actually be contention? I think the 800. Like we would think we could get maybe 10, end up getting 13 was just huge. So I'd probably say that event made the big jump. You coached Jonathan Jones, correct? Yes. What inspired you to switch him from a 400 meter guy to 800 meter guy getting second here? He was an eight in high school and was just basically too scrawny, so I had to just kind of develop him a little bit. So I moved him to the four to kind of get his speed up and get a little bit more uh, muscle mass on him. And then the better plan was always to go back to the eight last year, and then things went wrong, he got injured, so we went back to a this year. Is he thinking of eight moving forward, or? No, I still think he's going 43 seconds to the 400. Now I kind of want him to be the first guy that runs 43 seconds, and I run 44. What, uh, what do you think was, when did you join Texas? How many years has it been now? This is year four. Year four. four. four years. Is this how you expected the first four years to go? I thought we could have done it sooner, but COVID uh, took a toll. Uh, I thought we had a team like that going into COVID, and then they canceled the meet. Um, and hopefully now we're back doing it again. So you coach a lot of great athletes through the years, but I think this is your first team title on the track. How does yes. it feel to, to win one personally? Just getting the monkey off my back, <laughs> you know. Um, all the great coaches I've won, so I've always felt sort of like left out. But being able to coach a team, lead a bunch of young men to do that is a how hard is it to coach a team champion? Because it's good to coach an individual athlete you can recruit well for one specific event, but how does this put all these It's just insane, like the, the amount of emotion and work that come in it, and ups and downs to try to keep team morale up when one guy doesn't score and he's depressed. And it's, it's this indescribable feeling that, that to just, because everybody, everybody leans on the coach, you know, all the assistants lead on me. So you just have to basically keep a stone face even when things are looking really desperate. Thanks, Thank yeah, you. congratulations. Thank you.